Yellowstone bison dies in hot springs, showing the dangers of hydrothermal features. Learn how some animals in Yellowstone National Park make fatal mistakes, and learn the real reason why hot springs are so dangerous. Yellowstone National Park's beautiful but deadly hydrothermal features are best admired from afar, but some animals can take a wrong turn. Over the years, a handful of animals have made fatal mistakes around hot springs, putting themselves in situations that often end in death. One such incident occurred on Saturday, June 21, when a bison died after stumbling into the Grand Prismatic Spring. While the hot spring's rainbow colors may be appealing, the water is nearly boiling at 192 degrees Fahrenheit, 89 degrees Celsius. While accidental animal deaths in hot springs are rare, they're always a sad reminder that one misstep can lead to a tragic fate. The bison that fell into the Grand Prismatic Spring reportedly slipped into the hot water and fell further as they tried to escape. Yellowstone Park officials deemed it too dangerous and damaging to remove the carcass, which would have disintegrated to just bones. This isn't the first time an animal has fallen victim to Yellowstone's hydrothermal features. A fawn died a few years ago while trying to escape a mud puddle in the West Thumb Geyser Basin. Bones from diseased animals have also been found in other hot springs, such as Gentian Pool, Ojo Caliente, and a spot known as Skeleton Pool. At least 22 people have also died from scalding after falling into hydrothermal features in Yellowstone, and hundreds have also been reported injured. That means that hot springs have caused more deaths than wildlife in the park, with eight people dying from bear encounters and two from bison encounters. Super volcano's eruption deposits more than 1,000 cubic kilometers of material, thousands of times more than a regular volcano. Some of the most Yellowstone's hot springs are dangerous, but they're not quite the corrosive acid vats that many people believe. According to the USGS, most of Yellowstone's major springs and geysers, including Old Faithful and Grand Prismatic Spring, are either neutral, pH around 7, or basic alkaline, pH greater than 7. For reference, pure water is neutral at pH 7.
Not all of Yellowstone's hydrothermal features are created equal. While many of the popular hot springs and geysers are closer to neutral or basic, others are much more acidic, including fumaroles, gas vents, and mud pots. The acidity of these features is related to the buildup of sulfuric acid liquids, or gases that come from steam. Steam typically takes a different path than the superheated alkali chloride liquids as it rises from underground, separating out from gases like carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide. When these gases reach the surface, they interact with air and groundwater to form carbonic and sulfuric acids, creating a low pH environment that can alter surrounding rocks and surface sediments.